some if there's better ways of doing stuff and then my main job is to prioritize things that we're building and kind of make sure that the developers know what they're building so being able to understand technology so i can explain it in a way that developers can pick it up quite quickly that, that's something that probably having a background in coding helped um bad things is weakness probably managing you know i think that's for me that's not a skill that i've overly had in my career so right now i'm managing a team of six developers and i think that kind of a team member at one moment but then the next moment i'm also then kind of managing them so i find that is kind of a hard thing to do and then obviously i'm trying to do bit i'm trying to do my stuff while then trying to organize stuff for them to do um so yeah managing that workload between um making sure that they've always got stuff to do and they know what's asked of them and they're always motivated to do it you know i think that probably takes more time than what i give it because i'm always trying to do other stuff on the side so um yeah, I think manage, managing people is a is a hard skill because uh, you know you don't get much experience into it, at it until later on in life. Other stuff you can do by yourself in a room. You can learn how to code. You can learn how to design. You can learn how to sell stuff by yourself. You know, you've got an idea. Learning to manage people, you need to have a team under you. And, you know, I don't really get that until later on. Are you verified on? any social media platforms for having your own company uh, life goal is to get a wiki page we, we, we might we might verify ourselves on our own platform <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah life goal is definitely a wiki page for me i'm not so worried about the verified on twitter but yeah yeah <laughs> i want i want the wiki page and the blue pack on the outside of my house <laughs> uh would you say your website could be more uh, could be more developed Yes, definitely. I think what we have as a stage to the kind of business is at the moment, the, the website is really kind of driving one goal, which is to drive people to um, the website. For us, we are a, an app business more than a web business. So the website has a, has a kind of a role to encourage people to download the app. But we are just about to kind of update the website in the coming weeks because we're just about to do kind of a big event in March. And so we are going to update the website to give people a little bit more information about what we're doing. But really up until now, recently, we've been very much kind of in a little bit of whether it be like stealth mode or a little bit under the radar where we've organically been kind of letting people come into the app as we learn. Um, you learn a lot. You can have an idea, but until you see people use it, um, you don't really know whether that idea is going to work. So we've been letting more users come onto the app um and very much if anyone lands on the website that all we wanted them to do was put their mobile number in and, and get text a link so they can download the app we want them really spending their time on the app and not on the website but the website is going to be uh developed a little bit but as Hal said we're a small team so if we kind of start spending some time developing the website we're not spending time developing the app so these are some of the trade-offs that you have to kind of make sometimes within a business you kind of you have the x amount of time between all of you and then you have a list of things that you want to do and you have to put them in a priority order um there's a famous book called eat that frog which kind of talks about when you've got your to-do lists putting them in a priority order um and i think that that task time management is probably one of the hardest skills probably talking about weaknesses i think that's something that i'm constantly learning to be better at i think that is a skill that i think you you probably never stop learning at time management and enabling yourself to get the most out of yourself within the time that you have available is a, is a real skill. And I think the best people in business have got that skill absolutely honed to uh, the nth degree. They are amazingly time efficient. What makes a good video slash app? Um, I think there's probably a, a range of different things. I think there's obviously uh, TikTok and Snapchat are different elements. Um, I think TikTok's great. Um, I think fundamentally, first off, it needs to work and, and, and work well. And then I think there's different features that are important. I think obviously TikTok enables someone who can't make really well-produced videos to produce well-produced videos. It, it, it lowers the barrier of entry into kind of creating a really cool video yourself. I think what we want our video platform to do is enable people to feel like they're in a room talking with each other, but they're online. I think that's the, what we're trying to enable people within different time zones in different places to have what feels like 
a like an online conversation as if you're all in the same room so the, the tools and the features and what would make a good video app are slightly different for both platforms um so i think it's very much focusing on the kind of what you're trying to achieve as a platform uh and thinking about your feature sets but i think as how said at the beginning um the app the video is playing quickly and working is is 100 fundamental uh 101 and i think it's like what makes a good video is you know different to what your goal is that you're looking to to do you know if i'm going onto youtube to find out how do i fix my boiler it's a very different you know the the, the video format that i'm looking for there is a very different format to i'm bored at home i'm going to open up tiktok you know tiktok is very much around time filling you know you don't really search for something well i've never really searched for something on tiktok you know you might look at the hashtags and stuff but you don't really search for stuff so it kind of that idea of what is a good video i think changes drastically depending on what the user is trying to do so if i want some entertainment and you look at something like tiktok is an entertainment platform the content of that would be very different to like a snapchat which is more of a messenger video you know um i think on the whole, what makes a good video is something that's engaging. You know, you know you, that um, you judge things quite quickly. So, how you know, I think with any platform, it's can you engage me quite quickly in what you're saying? Um, video as a medium is a new medium. Um, we've been talking about it as a way of communication. It's not been out there long. You know, if you think about the written text, it was out there for millennia. Then you've got phone calls that are out there for like hundred years. Now you've got video, which is um, coming in the past year or so, really kicking off in the past two, three years. So I think that's going to be an interesting thing to see how people get better at talking on a, uh, talking on a video. But uh, yeah, there are lots of tricks that people do. And I think adding music, adding some entertainment stuff that you can hook someone and make it seem a little bit interesting. If it's an advert, you know, letting me know within the first 10 seconds what's it about. There, there are lots of tricks that people do to make videos more engaging. But hopefully ours is more about the conversation. So the less pressure on to use gimmicks to um, keep me from scrolling, but actually it's more about the conversation rather than me just flicking to the next entertainment video. What uh, what is your dream job? Well, I think my my dream job is now with uh, millions of users on the app. <laughs> At the minute, we've got a couple of thousand. So yeah, my dream job is is to develop yeah this business. Um, I think that. Yeah, that that be it'd be very uh, as Hal said it it would be very rewarding and really satisfying if we are able to kind of see this through and to build a platform. I think one of the hardest things to do is to build an an app that lots of people want to use. If you kind of think the average person uses eight apps a day, and I think they there are I think five to ten thousand new apps are made every day released into the app store. There are millions of apps. And the average person's only using eight a day. So to, to try and make an app that millions of people want to be one of their eight is um, is a tough thing to do. But if we can do it, it would be a dream. It would be really rewarding. So I think um, that that in itself would be very, uh, very exciting and rewarding. Yep, same. I really like the role that of product owner. I feel that it does lots of, ticks lots of boxes I like. It's solving problems. It's... Um, technology based so yeah I very much like my role and as Gareth said with the added goal of being able to be your own boss it, um, yeah it's pretty perfect and it also be quite nice to do it with my brother <laughs> any other questions guys uh, if you can change anything about your career journey so far what would it be sorry what was the question then I, I don't mind finish that one what, what things did I would I have changed in my career path uh, yeah, that's always a hard one to say. You know, I don't think uh, I think like with most kind of decisions you make, you make it in the t in the moment with what you think is the right decision at that time. So I probably don't look back on any decision. And go, I regret that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't end up being the situation I'm in now. So no, I don't think there's not there's nothing back that I look back and go, I regret doing that. I probably like with most kind of skills, if I pick something up, it probably would have been better if I. Focus maybe on one or two. So maybe like coding wise, if maybe when I was younger, I had put a bit more effort into really learning one rather than just kind of messing about with it. So, um, you know, it's a bit like when you're learning an instrument, you either kind of go for it or not. But 
yeah, I think it, I think there's, if I had made different choices, I would have been in a different career path than the one I went through. So, um, yeah, I think at the time you make the decisions that you think the right decision for what you want to do at that time. So I, first of all, was a teacher for uh, five years because I probably wasn't, the, the world of technology didn't really open up to me when I was younger. I was building websites when I was like 14, but the, the path into technology never really showed itself. Um, so then when I picked it up later on in life, it, yeah, it, it just happened that way. So yes, maybe if I look back going, if I got into computing and if I focused on that when I went to university in college, um, yeah, it would have been a different a, a different path I had gone down. But um, yeah, the path I went down for me has worked out well. I've got um, I've got a good job. I've done lots of exciting different roles, uh, and now I've got a little boy. Being a teacher for five years is definitely a bonus. So yeah, I think it's added benefit for having a varied career like I. How have. just to jump off that. So if you had any advice for the young people here today, because obviously there's so much pressure to choose, like, what do you want to be and choose your A-levels and then choose your university degree. And it all seems very structured. Yeah. But you've had a very varied career path. Like, would you have yeah. any advice for them in terms of like knowing what you want to be and whether that has to be really definite or can you just sort of freestyle? Yeah, I personally feel that you, sh you should just have the skills to be able to self teach yourself stuff I think that I think we're in a very fortuitous age where you have the internet that you can up until a point obviously you know at some point you need a bit of mentoring to kind of show you how to get stuff over the line but I feel that you have that building yourself that confidence that if you're given a problem you don't need someone to handhold you for it I think that's probably something I've always found that I my first goal is that I will I have the confidence that I can do anything and sometimes I can't and I need to ask for help but my first goal is if that person can do it I can do it so I think having that kind of mindset that it's not you know you're you're not limited by your ability you're just limited by your time to acquire that ability so um I think yeah that, that's probably the main thing I've that's done me well that whatever job I've, I've probably you know I've been a teacher I was a managed a network of school that was like an IT infrastructure person over across two schools. I was uh, ran my own marketing company. I've built websites. I've been a product owner. Been yeah, probably had about six different roles, and every time it's kind of more that mindset of having I, yeah, I can do this. So I think yeah, it doesn't matter what you do in terms of picking your choices. I think pick stuff that you feel your one, you're going to get enjoyment out of, you know, you enjoy this, if it comes down to picking a subject, if you get enjoyment out of it, you know, because that's half of it at university. I think I picked teaching because I actually enjoyed that teaching part. I didn't, I hated doing exams. So I just knew that if I picked a subject that had to do loads of squatting, I just wouldn't have done that revision because I just can't, I just don't like self, I don't like reteaching myself stuff that I think I already know. And whenever I was doing revision, I was like, oh, I remember this. I remember this. I don't need to relearn this. But obviously in a room and you're then having to write about it, you probably get found wanting. So yeah, I picked something that I thought that was more vocational. Um, so I think, yeah, pick stuff that you 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 would enjoy enjoy doing. And later on in life, just be willing to, if you are not happy in your role, be confident enough that you can change it and, um, and uh, make it go with the next job. I think the hardest thing though, I found the, when you get older, the hardest thing is when you've got responsibilities. You know, the older you get, the more response, the harder it is to kind of shift jobs because it depends how low you have to go on the run to kind of build your wage back up. So, um, yeah, try lots of different roles when you're younger.
when you make when you mean market it what would you like us how would you like us to support so basically we just started a youtube channel where we're gonna try and get different type of people who do different jobs such as pilot business owners doctors i'm trying to try and get an interview from them so we feel like it would be helpful if you could promote our business in a way well i wouldn't say business but our youtube channel so that would help and like the people that would need career advice yeah sounds good and but yeah i'm more than willing to to help i think gareth would be able to help you get some interviews with other people i'm sure as that is if if you wanted that support we could help get those interviews in terms of promotion yeah we can look to see how we can put i'm unfortunately don't i'm not a big social media influencer i don't have hundreds of followers that i can um, promote your channel to but um we can look to see how we can support with that. I think it's probably more about how who you get interviews with. You know, that probably be my way of doing it. You know, every time you get an interview with someone, if you ask them to sh- record it, ask them to share it on their socials, that'd be a, a way you can kind of use the people you interview to kind of reach out to new audiences. Um, but yeah, more than willing to help. Thank you. What's the goal? How many, how many subscribers are you looking for? Have you got a target? We don't really have a target. I guess we're just trying to like, make this into a successful thing giving other people career advice but if there was a target i'm not sure awesome thank you so much Howell. also i think no it's worries. good for you to like shoot the questions back at them as well <laughs> so they <have> to <laughs> Teach your hat back on. yeah um but yes yeah, so again thank you so much and also it's really interesting hearing about your food yeah. so yeah no yeah no it's good it's, it's uh, exciting to be back in the back on the coal face so yeah that's no, good